Hey everyone, Nick in the States here, and today I want to talk about Pretenders to the Throne. Uh, you know, the Les Paul copies, not Chipsons, not Lost City things so much, um, as just different manufacturers' attempts at a Les Paul inspired guitar. Um, and I think since the Les Paul came out with its, you know, mahogany body, set neck, 24 and 3 quarter inch scale, maple cap, um, you know, tunematic tailpiece, stop tail, kind of. 57, 58 Les Paul setup. The um, a lot of many, many, almost all other manufacturers have tried to come up with something to uh, to get in on some of that action. And as I was looking through my collection of late, I realized I had a bunch of different flavors of Les Paul inspired copies with a couple different roots. And it would also was a great opportunity to highlight the differences between one of the many who started as a very accurate copy, which is the Harley Benton L450 Plus. They've now phased that out and come out with their own take on it, which looks like actually quite a few other companies' own takes on it of like Vantage and I think even Aria Pro 2 and things did things in the same vein as this. Um, so I wanted to kind of just show them side by side. Why not? Let's do this and, and get an idea of what the different things look like and see how they look relative to a, to an actual Gibson Les Paul. Um, so without any more ado, let's look at some guitars, shall we? Thanks. So we're going to start with, you know, the old standby. The one who started it all. This is my uh, 2011 Gibson Les Paul. Uh, what are you? You're a Les Paul Traditional Plus, which is an all nitro, all glass, nice car flame top in kind of a perimeter iced T burst. Um, it's still of the variety that has the fret end nibs, the wondrously inlaid Gibson logo, plastic tulip tuners, and all in all, just a very soulfully cool guitar. Um, so this guy, you know, not a whole lot else to say. The only thing I've done to it is actually before I got it, somebody switched it to coil tappable uh, Gibson 57 Classics. But now if we zoom out a little bit, a couple other takes on it. Um, the one on the left is actually the previous generation L450 Plus Harley Benton. You'll notice that from a shape perspective, pretty darn accurate. Uh, control layout, uh, heck, even the tuners on that bad boy. Are pretty much the same as the Gibson and it's a it's a very nice accurate copy albeit with you know laminate top um, cheaper pickups doesn't sound quite as good it's not nitrocellulose lacquer finish none of these other ones are um, but still very pretty on the right is kind of a the zag of this particular bunch this is a Michael Kelly Patriot standard um, I think the Patriot decree might have been a better spot on but I don't own one um, so it's a non bound neck but same deal, rosewood fretboard, same 23 and 3 quarter inch scale. Uh, we went a little different with the knobs, with just an inset, or you know, so it's carved into the top, set in uh, a volume tone and a flip switch down there with a beautiful, you know, carved flame top. So an interesting uh, change to it. So you got two of the ways you can go in different directions. Now let's go the third way here, if I can keep it in frame. On the right is a uh, Agile AL 2000, but it's actually, you know, I think it's representative of the whole algebra range from a shape. So in this one, the control layout is the same, two volume, two tone, set up that way. The pickguard very much looks the same as another Les Paul. This particular one has a maple neck, but it is bound, hard to see. Black in lace, but definitely of the Les Paul style. Grover tuners, a funky Gumby-ish headstock shape. Michael Kelly kind of has more of a, uh, you know, it might've started with the Gibson with a little bit extra flair to it. So it looks similar or inspired, but different. Um, all right. Um, there, I can cut that up. But you can see, you know, they've had to, due to Gibson's influence, they changed the shape a bit and rounded off the cutaway there. This one, you kind of have a sharp cutaway, but still definitely different. And I'll show you when we flip them all over some construction differences in the back. Now, so we go over this way. Keep in frame, I'll keep you show you how things have evolved in the Harley Benton front. So on the left is the Harley Benton SC450. Um, on the right is the L450 Plus. And you can see they've given parts of it a bit of a diet. So the left hand upper belt here, it definitely doesn't come as far up the guitar as it does on a regular Les Paul one there. Um, and it curves back down. You can see the cutaway is definitely not as accurate as, you know, the, the classic Gibson shape or even their first generation inspired by copy. Um, 
The rest of the body though is still pretty close to the shape. The, you know, I think the control setup, the bridge, tailpiece, all that is, is pretty much spot on. So it sits on your lap the same way your Les Paul does, it just looks a little different. Um, here you can also see Gibson's influence and then uh, impact. The regular Harley Benton, um, the original one, the L450 Plus, which you can't get anymore, has a very close to Gibson shape. It just doesn't have the little book match part in the middle. And I even know a guy named Too Many Cats, is my shout out, who uh, has too many cats. But on top of that, not to judge, that's awesome, um, he, uh, he carved it and put his own little logo that looks a lot like Gibson on the top um, that uh, it showed you that you could really fake a Harley Benton into a Gibson. I'm going to say that somebody put some pressure on Harley Benton, who's also Gibson's, Gibson's largest retailer in Europe, to change it. So you can see here, it's had a bit of a flat top, and you really couldn't get back to a Gibson shape from that. Um, looks like the hair in one of the Pet Boys commercials, I think is how I would set it in another video. Um, so that's kind of cool. The, um, so there's kind of your, your different avenues and different takes on doing a Gibson Les Paul copy. Let's flip them over though and I can show you one more thing. So there's definitely more than one way to skin a cat. Um, here's your Gibson, you know, your standard and all Gibson Les Pauls, except for the Access model, don't vary much by that. First gen Harley Benton looks very much like that too. But the second gen Harley Benton, the new one, actually has a curved scarf. I think some ESPs do this. Um, I think even PRS does that to the heel of their single cuts. And so does the Michael Kelly Patriot. And I'll tell you what, um, Agile does not, although they do offer a model that does do it with a neck throw. Um, but what's interesting about that is you really do notice it while playing. Like, it makes it a lot more comfortable up high. In some ways, you, you might think that you're used to hitting the landmark of that little nub there on a Les Paul. But in fact, you get over it not being there very quick. And, uh, and it's, it's kind of nice and enjoyable. Um, but anywho, this is my little just the three or four, three, three different vendors pretenders to the, uh, to the Gibson throne. Um, as always, I've been Nick in the States, and I have issues. But thanks for coming by. Stick around, we'll put up some more stuff. Thanks, bye.